Good afternoon and happy Wednesday. This is Abby with the Fairport Public Library and I've got another craft for you today. Today I'm going to face my fear and make something that scares me. So it's time for another. <laughs> So let's get started. All right, here is what you're gonna need for today's craft. An old frame, some cord or rope or yarn, whatever you have, and some tape. All right, for our first step, we're gonna just take the insides of the frame out. So this is an old print I had in my old office at my last library. So now I just have the blank frame. And this is what we're gonna use to make our spider web. All right, so first we're gonna take the cord, we're gonna make an X. Um, on the frame. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm just using tape here. You are going to need scissors. That's one more thing I forgot to tell you. So in one corner, I'm going to tape down the first thread. And this tape I have is extra big, so I'm going to do my best to try to make it work. It's heavy duty, but I don't really want to use um, Cheapy, cheapy tape. All right, and then pull it over to this side. There we go. And use another piece of tape. Here we go. Take that down. All right, now we're gonna do it again on the other way. But for this one, I'm going to do it on the outside because everybody knows spiders don't just have neat little webs. So I'm going to, I lied a little, I'm gonna start on the back and then bring it around the front. So, there we go. Bend it over. And then this time I'm gonna bring it around the front. And so. I just got done saying spiders aren't perfect and here I am trying to make it perfect, so just goes to show you I am not a spider. But everybody does say like spiders make not natural beauty so maybe there's the beauty and the imperfection as I always try to tell myself. All right so we've got one over the front and one over the back so then I'm going to just do a couple more cross ones. Um, I'm going to put a few over and I'm gonna put a few under. So I will show you that when I'm done. All right, so I have a nice mix of above and behind the frame. As you can see, I apologize, it's hard to get everything in frame and camera. So then I've also taken a small thread and I've tied just a knot in the middle to hold all that middle part together. So now I'm gonna go through and do the web parts of the spider web. So you're gonna take your thread and you're gonna start with just a little knot. And these are the knots that we're gonna do all the way around it. It's okay to leave a tail for now. It is what it is. So then we're gonna go over, under, and through to make another little knot. So that it stays in place. And you wanna make sure that it's nice and tight so that your spider web's not all loosey-goosey. All right, and we're gonna keep on going like that. And then finally we're back, over, under, and through. And we're just gonna tie the knot right on top of our other knot to try to attempt to hide it. And then we're gonna cut off the ends as tight as we can. All right, and there is our first layer. So you have a little wiggle room to move it around um, to make it just right. 
And then I'm gonna do another and then another and I'll come and show you at the end. All right, so there we go. I got three layers and I moved the big knot around so they weren't all in the same spot. But there we are. This is a lovely spider web. You can lean it up against the wall. You can hang it in place of some of your pictures just for the the month of October. And yeah, I think, uh, I think, uh, I think, I think I need something, guys. I think I need something more. What could we put on a spider web? Ah, I know. So I'm going to be making a spider. Um, I'm arachnophobic, I'm terrified of spiders, so I'm going to be making a pretty jewelry-based spider out of beads and wire, so I will show you how to do that. Now, you're going to need a lot of supplies for this, and I'm going to put the really descriptive um, supply list in the description, but for now, I'll just give you a basic rundown. Um, I have some wire, I have five things of wire cut, so I've got one that is nine inches and one that four that are like nine and a half to ten inches. All right, then I'm gonna do a big bead and a bunch of different little beads and I'll show you as I go so that you can um, figure out what you'll need on your own. You can use any kind of beads you want. And then I have some flat nose pliers and I've got some rounded jewelry pliers. So if you have an extra beads around, you can use absolutely any of the beads that you own. You do not have to do the same thing I'm doing. I'm just gonna show you the basic structure. So first off, we are gonna make our body. So. I'm going to get roughly the middle of this and I'm going to take a little tiny bead and put that on there. I'm going to have that be the middle. So for that, I'm just going to fold it in on itself so that that bead is centered. There we go. So it's the center bead. And the rest of the wire is going to be up together. So this gives us a nice little split pin that we made ourselves. Now I'm going to take the bigger bead and I'm going to put both pieces of wire through it. Now this is going to make the big body um, of our spider. Is it called a thorax? Is that what they call it? I don't know. All you bug people will have to let me know what exactly it's called. Next, we're gonna do the head of the spider. So for this, I have a little um, separator that I'm gonna to use to kind of give the head a little more interest because the bead I have is not nearly as cool as the bead um, for the butt. And I'm just gonna do a blanket apology right now for the uh, camera work that's gonna be happening here in general. Um, got a lot of crap going on and it's going to go in and go out and go fuzzy and so I apologize in advance. I got the head bead and I got one more little cap on there to put through. I don't need to do that. So I'm going to snip this short. And then I'm going to use my rounded nose pliers to make a on both sides. So I've got two little circles and I'm gonna press them down and they're kinda of gonna be like the eyes of our spider. Looks like he's wearing little eyeglasses. So there we go. We've got the body of our spider. So now we're gonna work on the legs. I'm gonna take this I'm going to put all four wires around between the body and the uh, head. I'm going to turn it and twist it a couple times. So I'm going to do this front leg. All right. And I've got my beads laid out. I don't know if you can see them. But I'm going to start with six of these little seed beads.
All right, I'm gonna do a bigger bead next. What I'm gonna do is put another bigger bead that's small, lightly smaller than the biggest one. And then I'm gonna do the buckle bead. Oh guys, my camera work is so bad. All right, then I'm gonna do a joint type bead. And another small. Smaller bead. Then a tiny, tiny seed bead just for some difference. Two more of those buckle beads. Part of the problem is, is that the camera is blocking my view. So like I keep looking around it to try to get the beads on and it means that it blocks out your view. One of the tiniest little seed beads again. And then one bigger bead to make the foot. So you can see that all there. Six of those little seed beads, one bigger one, one little one. All right, so then after this, I'm gonna cut off a good portion. And I'm going to do the circle like I did with the eyes. To kind of give it like a foot. Yeah, it's like a little circle or a foot. So that is the first leg, and I'm gonna do that on all the rest of them, and I'll be right back. All right, here we go. All the legs are done. You can see the little circles on the ends that I did. Um, so now I'm just gonna position the legs and to see how I wanna do that. So you can see I've got a nice base down there. I'm gonna bend them up so that they're coming out of that um, in between. All right, I'm gonna bend it at this joint because this bead is a good spot for a joint. Now, I particularly don't study spiders because I hate them and they scare the crap out of me. So I'm just gonna kind of try to make it work with these legs. All right, there we go, a jeweled spider. So now I'm gonna bring him over to our spider web. I'm gonna have our spider live on our spider web. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I want to attach it. Um, I have these little feet and I can stick them through the twine um, if I've got the circles or I can take a little extra um, thread and thread them on there. I could do that with just regular embroidery floss. Um, I could use a little extra wire. I think I'm going to grab a little extra wire and hook it on there. So I'm gonna go in again so you can see real close what I'm doing. Just have a little extra wire that I um, used while creating. I'm gonna put it through the twine. Try to separate the threads a little bit and put the foot through it. I'm just gonna bend it over. Almost twist tie style. I'm gonna use my pliers for this. And then twist it. Now 
I'm not going to do these on every leg. I'm only going to do it on a couple just to make sure it's secure. I'm going to snip off the excess. But I'm going to leave a good amount of them empty. So I'm going to do that to a few more and then I will show you the finished product. And here is the finished product. Spider. Get as close as I can. There he is, or she is, on her little web. So you just lean it against the wall like this, or you can hang it up in place of a different thing that you've got. You can make these spiders in all different sizes. Um, it's really up to you, but I really think it came out beautifully. I love her, and I hate spiders, so that's saying something. There you go. You did it. You made something that's really creepy, but also kind of gorgeous. I love this jeweled spider. I think I might make more um, smaller ones and turn them into jewelry or put them in some of my house plants to keep around all year. Just kind of like a little surprise. Um, it was a little bit longer today, but I hope you enjoyed it. And please share with me if you make these and I will see you next week.